Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Continuing our Complete Beginner's Guide. So, our character... Oh my goodness, he has found a zombie. Is stronger, but yep, when you come outside, you best be careful. Alright, so let's... Oh, we found a bunch of zombies, that's right. Okay, so we got zombies all over. Let's talk about what to do when there's zombies all over. All you can do, ooh, a police car. When there's zombies like this, okay, breathing down your neck is to walk. I know this seems wild, but we're gonna walk, oh, and we're gonna walk up this way. We've got a bunch on us, all right? And I mean a ton. So we are just gonna go over here. All right, ooh, this house is boarded up, cool. I'm gonna run, but just a little bit. Okay, we need to get to a place that's safe, and we haven't found that yet at all. So I'm going to run straight, and now it's time to play trees, okay? So we're going to try and break line of sight with as many zombies as we can by utilizing some of these trees, and there's, okay, this is the distillery, that's awesome, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly jump this fence. I'm running, but only a little bit, right? Okay, we've got a bunch of zombies, and they're following us, but if we can stay slick, all right, let's jump this fence. We're going to do just fine here. There are zombies all over the place, and they want us, but what we're going to continue to do is just make sure that we stay calm and walk as much as possible, okay? There's a zombie behind that door. No problem. We're just... We don't want to make too much noise with running. And we want to just kind of break line of sight with things like trees. And here's a fence. Now this is going to be super useful. Alright. There's a zombie behind the door, but that's okay. We're going to just hold E and climb the fence. Now, I'm going to look and... You can see that actually... All of those zombies... You saw how many zombies that was? They're gone. And I only ran just a little bit. If you sprint... You're going to tire yourself out. You're not going to make it. If you run, okay, you're going to attract more zombies. So only do it for short bursts so that you can break line of sight. Now, I'm just going to look around really quickly, make sure that we're okay, and I need to look at my map. So I am currently here, and I'm actually closer to where I died here, and this area down here will be much safer. So let's try to get to our body. That's what I want to do anyway. All right, this zombie wants to come through the window, and that's fine. So let's just prepare, okay, um, our machete. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. And we're just going to kind of walk this zombie back nice and slow and chop and chop. And then they go down, and they're dead. The machete is going to kill things a lot faster, okay? So let's just push I and see if they have anything that we want to take, and they don't. Okay. So we'll push I, close the inventory, use the mouse wheel to zoom out. So the area that we're in with those two-story homes, which is very, very nice. There's a police car. There's all kinds of cool stuff that I want to explore. Unfortunately, it's surrounded by zombies. So we're going to need to figure out a way to get back there and get back there safely. And we can easily do that. Zombies are not that actually hard to get away from unless we make mistakes. Now, these are all zombies that we've actually killed. Um, you see, we cleared out these homes and we killed them. So we could go back and rest in any of these homes if it gets late. We haven't found a watch with this character yet. I want to get one if I can. But this is another reason I'm really prioritizing going back to our body because we had a bunch of tools that I want for fortifying a base, you know, um, hammer, screwdriver, all kinds of things that will be even a watch, you know, that'll be nice and useful. And we can add that to the arsenal that we've built up with this travel pack, this hiking backpack and this machete, and we're going to be beautiful. All right, so let's just walk down this way. Push I to close the inventory. Step in the middle of the road right here. You see these trees? It's very hard to see where zombies are. 
So I'm going to kind of zoom out for now. I like to zoom in when I'm in combat. Um, and look, that's where I died. Right there, I dropped all our stuff. Our saw, everything awesome. And there is still one zombie just hanging out by our body. So let's go get that zombie. They will come. Here they come. And so we can just hold right click and get ready for this fight. Zoom in if you want. And practice. I like to practice which direction I need to do to move backward. Okay. See, two shots with this weapon and it's pretty much over for them. Alright, great. I mean, the orientation can be strange. You know, it's like W, A, S, D. W always goes up to the top of the screen. Um, but sometimes I, you know, get fumbled like I did when I got killed with my fingers. And so I like to just practice with the zombie, get facing it, and then just make sure I'm pressing the right buttons to get away from it on the right path. Then we can ease into the fight. So as long as I can prepare doing that and being nice and slow and methodical, it really improves my outcome in combat. Now, we get all the stuff. We dropped everything from our body. So let's go ahead and pick up the stuff that we want, all right? So select the backpack inventory, okay? And let's start dropping stuff in here. So definitely we will drop in the screwdriver, box of screws, okay? Disinfectant, bandage, battery. Um, we have a can opener, so we don't need it. I'll pick all that up and put it in my backpack. And then also we're going to go onto the ground and we can take this watch. I'm going to wear it on my left wrist. That's fine. Obviously wear it wherever you would like. Now they, um, our dead body has this leather jacket, which is way better than what we have. So we'll equip it to get ourselves some better armor. Okay. Um, this polo sweater is also better. These boots are incredible. We're going to just take advantage of all the good loot that we got. Okay. Um, and let's see painkillers sleeping tabs bandage um yeah all that can go in the backpack uh okay hammer crowbar garden saw in that backpack and the backpack you see how big it is it's fitting all of this right now um the jeans are fine what am i wearing on my body with my character let me go to my main inventory and look at our inven our inven um, encumbrance I, let me say that right encumbrance we're only at 6.74 carrying all that awesome stuff that we've got because um, our backpack is amazing also we're well fed once you start to get a little hungrier your encumbrance will go down you'll be able to carry less we definitely want this garbage bag just throw that into our backpack and i am currently wearing um a denim shirt which has 7 and 15 so i'm going to go ahead and wear this sweater it's hotter okay um, but that's okay. Now you can, you can layer, right? So we're layering all this stuff. So our character is probably going to get hot. Um, it is 81 degrees out and we're wearing a denim shirt, a leather jacket, um, and a polo sweater and a t-shirt. So that's bad. We can immediately take off the t-shirt and drop it onto the ground. We do not need it. It just provides no coverage for us. Um, and is there anything else that we want from these? We have a hand torch. Um, the melted ice cream, we're going to just eat this right now. It's going to make us happy and fill us up. It's going bad, so let's just pig out on some ice cream. Remember, be zoomed out. Everything is happening in real time. I can get lost sometimes in my menu where I think, like, dee -dee 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 -dee, everything's fine, and then um, forget that I'm in bad shape. You can push F2 if you'd like. Pause that game. Now, what's nice about pausing the game is that you can look through your inventory. You can't make any transfers. You can't do anything that would take time in the game. But you can just check through um, all of your stuff, including what's on the ground here. And just look at the coverage, look at everything, and then make decisions on what you want to move. But honestly, right now, I'm really happy. I'm going to unpause the game, and I'm going to push I to close the inventory. I'm going to look at the map, and here we are. Now, we could check out this house, but I kind of want to make my way back into the two-story area, even though the zombies seem to be congregating there pretty heavily, to see if we have a possibility of finding ourselves... Um, oh, we're thirsty. Let me go drink. 
of finding ourselves a place to stay. Now, all these planks are amazing, okay? If we want to board a place up, and we practiced boarding a place up here, but there's a couple of things you want to know. Number one, don't get married to a location uh, because it can sour. It can sour because at some point early in the game, a helicopter is going to fly by. And it should only happen on default setting once, okay? Now you see we're getting hot because I'm walking around and I'm wearing too many clothes. So I'm actually going to go into my inventory. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to go to protection. And you can see, like, we're super protected. We have green protection on everything but our shins and our face. But I'm going to take off uh, my denim shirt because I'm too hot. I'm just going to put it on the ground. And you see that my protection does go down. Oh, God. I almost got killed. Just like that. Hilarious. That's why it's dangerous to talk and play. But at the same time, it's funny. So we've got a bandaged zombie coming at us. We were able to get away, though. So try to pause the game uh, or be safe in a safe area. Okay? But we can fight this one. Okay. Goodness gracious. And by the way, um, you can see that that didn't actually cool us down too much. It's still so hot for what we have on. So that's just something to consider. All right. I'm okay with being just a little bit hot. If you're not moving, you'll cool down. Now, you see how they have this watch. Um, I'm going to grab this watch because you can dismantle okay a watch if you have the right tools and it, use it to skill up your electronics and we would want electronics okay for hot wiring a car getting a vehicle now i'm going to roll up this road right here this is dangerous territory because we haven't gone this far over here but i definitely want a two-story home now the helicopter like i was talking about it'll come and it's so noisy and it hovers over an area that the problem is all the zombies will come there. And if it decides to fly like right over your house and be near your house, wherever your base is, you are going to get wrecked with zombies and you need to abandon ship. It's not even worth trying to um, fortify it unless you're uh, really, really prepared and you know the game very well. But um, I would bail. And just walk away like we just did. See all these zombies? We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to walk away. Now, you can always push C and crouch. I'm not super sneaky, but I might be sneaky enough to just get away from that group and not have them pursue me. Now, this is a two-story home right here. This might be good. We might be getting to a place where there's a home that's nice and big. This is also a two-story home, but it's not surrounded by zombies. Now, here comes a zombie right away. Um, over here, shh, they see us. Um, this red shirt fork thing. So, let's just get up and fight. All right? Make sure you're moving in the right direction. And when it turns green... Oh, my God. You click. Oh, no. You don't do that. Why am I not fighting? Oh, that's right. Hilarious hilarious okay let's step down okay we got him but they got us let's check ourselves out we were scratched we're bit we're bleeding out can we repair ourselves oh my god oh my god can we fix this okay go to your backpack um and try to apply uh, a bandage we died dun 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 just like that so what happened what happened was um, I was not holding right click when I was trying to fight. I tried to push and then I went to hit and we got hit way more times than we wanted. And you remember how on the protection screen, okay, um, the problem was with our character, we didn't have any head protection. We got hit on the head and you saw how fast I bled out. I was not infected. I just took too much damage overall. So, this is 
part of learning to play the game. I am not an expert, as you can see. I still get killed all the time. But what's nice is all of this good stuff is on this body. So if we just go to new character, okay, and continue on Rosewood, where we were, all right, now, we can go with the exact same character that we had before, okay? So we can take Sunday Driver, and we can take um, Slow Reader, and we can take Weak Stomach, okay? And we can take Conspicuous, and that's a, another big reason why we were getting, um, you know, wailed on, seen by zombies from so far away, right? But I'm telling you this. I have a long way to go to getting better at the game. I know a lot about it, but I still mess up with the combat. And the thing about this game is, most of the time I can make the combat feel okay, but if you make one mistake, it can be the end of you. And so, you just dust off and you start again, alright? So we're going to go back into this, and we're going to go ahead and take um, Fast Learner, okay? Same skills, same build. I like the build. Um, and we're going to go ahead and... Um, fill up all of the talents that we wanted, that we had before, okay? So, Dextrous, and we have eight points that we can spend on some sizable categories like Handy, okay? And do we want anything else for this character We've got the carpentry, we've got the learner, we've got the dexterous. No, this is just fine. I could, you know, make some modifications to get... Organized is very good, inventory capacity... Uh, but you know what? I, I really like um, the simplicity of this. And we're just going to go ahead and say next, okay? And we're going to go random, all right? Um, and I'll be uh, a male again and random. And sweet, Ignatio? I mean, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're going to go again. Incompetent Tutorial 3. All right. And, um, yep, this all looks fine. Okay. So, just like I said, um, we're going to F2 to pause. If you're like me, and you still make some mistakes in combat, or you misclick, or you forget to hold right click so you can't swing, or all, any kind of other basic mistake, right? Um, you can learn from it, and then make a character that you like, adjust. I'm going to keep what I had, because I like the build, and then all we need to do is um, unpause the game, and look at the map. Where are we? We're way down here. So, where did we die? Okay, we died um, right here by this two-story home. So I'm going to approximate that, all right? It's like right around in this area that was where we died. So let's try to get back to our body, um, but it's not going to be easy, okay? But at least we have an idea. All right, so we're in our starter home, and let's just see what we start with in this house. Um, anything that's good. Well, here's a saucepan that we can immediately... Um, equip as our primary weapon and have something to swing, okay? Um, we're going to take uh, the can opener and again, you're just building on what the character already has and we can find some other stuff. There's also a meat cleaver, okay, that we could use if we wanted it as a, as a weapon but we're going to plan on, okay, getting... Let me close this. The equipment that our other character has, so we don't need as much of this. Now, I will take um, these chips because they haven't gone bad. 
But you see how all this food is going bad or it's stale? That's because even though we're starting a new character, the time that is passed in the game, okay, um, is still moving. So because the time is moving on, the food that's sitting out is going bad, all right? And, you know, there's like a bread knife and there's peanut butter. Peanut butter is amazing. Un it's hunger and unhappiness. Okay, we're going to take both peanut butter and marmalade and just grab it. We don't have a bag. That's okay. Let's see. Anything in the freezer? Um, there's ice cream. There's nothing in the fridge. There's nothing in the stove. Okay. Oh, there's a garbage bag, though. And we can use that to carry our stuff. So we're going to open this. And let's zoom out. Let's immediately see. Are there zombies? All right. Just check. Okay. I'm going to crouch so we can hide. There's a zombie right there. And she sees us. No, she didn't. She stopped. Okay. Um, we want uh, the garbage bag and the bottle. Um, we're going to equip this secondary. And I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to put this bottle in the bag. And I'm actually going to take all of this stuff and put it in the bag. Um, and we need to look around make sure she... There's two zombies over there, and luckily they have not seen us yet. Okay? So I'm going to start just trying to make my way over there. Okay. So I'm heading away from them. I have no reason to fight them right now. Let's just cut through here. They shouldn't see us. Yeah, they don't. Even though that we're conspicuous, they don't see us from that far away okay all right and let's just look on the map and i'm gonna mark that we started oh i don't have a, a marker um we started here and the best way to get to our house is perhaps to be a little bit risky this is a new character so if this character dies i'm not committed this zombie saw us and is following okay so we're gonna see if we can lose this zombie in the woods this is dangerous but it's possible. All right. So we're going to kind of just keep cutting through and see if any of this line of sight breakage will remove that zombie from our lives. Look down. Look around. The zombie does not appear to be following us anymore. So trees are very good for that, but they're also very good for concealing zombies, which is terrifying. Okay. All right. A zombie over here saw us, so let's use the house to break line of sight. Mm -hmm. And we can use this child's playset as well. We will hop this fence, and that should be enough. That zombie looks surprisingly like our zombie. It might be our first character zombie. All right. So I'm going to just make sure that we're not being followed. And I think we're good. Oh, that zombie sees us and wants to come fight. All right. So quickly, let's just go around the corner here. And this should be enough again to lose this zombie. And I'm here. Okay. So that very well could be our first character zombie. Not sure. Jump the fence. So just like any roguelike, when you have a character, all right, this, these are the two-story home areas, that uh, is just starting out, you can be a little bit riskier with it because it's not that big of a deal. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. That zombie really snuck up on us. Okay. Do you have anything good? You got a watch? Okay. Uh, wear it. Anything else that's reasonable? No. Okay. Well, we at least have a watch. So that car is really tempting, but there's zombies everywhere. So we want to get around this corner, but we also don't want to get seen. And there's uh, just a congregation of zombies... That kind of scares me. So I'm going to try to take this path right here. 
One zombie peeled off, two zombies peeled off. That's okay. Three zombies getting scary. There's where we died, right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to move up. Okay. Move up. And how are we doing? We're doing terribly. Okay, they're all following us. So we're going to cut up this way. <laughs> all right, it's going to be really hard to get back to that body because of this crowd. All right, but I'm going to try to lose this crowd. Okay. Over a couple of fences, through some trees. Okay. And then now, once we've done all that rigmarole, there's a zombie. She sees us. There's another horde of zombies. All right. There's that police car again. You see how, you know, with the, the group of zombies, we kind of lured them, and they pursued for a bit, but not that far. All right. The police car appears to be shaking. And there's a whole bunch of zombies down here. So what we want to do is take all of this information in. All right. There's a horde of zombies there. We're reasonable right here. And this is where we're standing. So we might want to make it back to our starting area where it's a little safer to gear up this character a bit. Or what we can do is go into this house and see what we've got. You see it's already 5 p.m. Okay. All right. Here comes a zombie, but it's only one. Um, there's two, but I think we can take one and then two. All right, we got one. We got this pot. The pot is great at knocking them down, right? This saucepan. And remember, once they're down, you step on them. And let's just make sure that there's no other zombies that are like, hanging out coming over okay let's see if they have anything good uh, are their shoes better than mine yes all right let's let's just wear their regular shoes better than my sneakers for protection okay all right now i'm going to close the inventory and we're going to just open this door and let's just see if there's any zombies inside this home. This is a nice house so far. I'm going to close this door. And I'm going to um, lock the door to help fortify that first point of entry. Okay, good. Okay, somebody's coming in. Um, I'm actually going to unlock the door and uh, open it. I'd rather... I'm going to run out. I'm going to fight this zombie outside. And I'd rather fight this zombie uh, outside because I don't want them to break my window. Okay, this lady wants to come fight as well. That's fine. This might be a man. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm dealing with, but I am dealing with a leather coat. Now, remember that one of the benefits of using... Um, I want that coat, that leather jacket. One of the benefits that you've got of using a blunt weapon to defeat your enemies is that you won't tear up their clothing, okay? So if you use a machete like we had, you do tear up their clothes and it damages the condition of them. Um, but if you club them, not so much. All right, let's close the door and let's lock that door. All right, and let's see. Can I close these curtains? Does it have curtains? It doesn't. All right, that's a shame. We got to turn off this radio right away. Okay. And we want to close the curtains on this. 
Mm. It, sometimes the curtains are like hard to get to. Yeah, I can't really reach it um, as easily as I'd like, unfortunately. Yeah, and I can't climb over that. That's too bad. Okay, let's go over here. I'm going to close the inventory for now just to make life a little easier. And we're going to close these curtains for sure. Okay. And I'm actually going to just open this door. And I want to look around. Um, oh, God, there's like 50 zombies in the backyard. All right. So close the door and lock it. I don't think they saw us, but that's a little bit scary. Okay. Okay. That is a potential room that we could sleep in. This room is there's no way we could ever sleep in this room. Um, there's two windows. Okay. So if we need to sleep, because it's getting to be 630, we could maybe sleep here by barricading the door. Potentially. All right. So let's take a gander. You got any books on the shelf? All right. Um, they do. They have mechanics and they have cooking. These are all, you know, interesting books. We can uh, get this pen. Put it in our trash bag. My goodness. You got anything in the bathroom here? Not really. All right. And we can look for... Um, now they have a gun case. All right. So they have some guns. Uh... And again, it's guns in the kids' room. I don't even know what to say about that. Okay. We're hungry and thirsty, so let's go eat and drink. And let's see what kind of food they have. Canned spaghetti. I love it. Um, open it. And go to our inventory and just peel this open and go ahead and uh, eat all of this. Okay, so now we have a, actually a positive Moodle. When it's green, um, you get well fed, which means look at our encumbrance. It's gone up plus two. So we can actually carry more while we're well fed, which is terrific. But... We have to make a decision on, do we want to try to sleep here? It's getting to be dark outside. You can see the sun is clearly setting. So our choice would be, do we want to sleep at this location? Or do we want to just try to run down here and sleep in a place that we know is safe? Now, if there's no zombies that are attracted to this spot, then we're probably okay. But even then, it's still a little bit unnerving. Can we close the window in the kid's room? All right. And the answer is no. So this window doesn't have curtains. So I'm feeling a little bit skeptical about this home as uh, a place for us to rest. So what I'm going to do is just zoom way, way, way out and cut through and try to find another place to sleep. Getting back to uh, a place that we've cleared out would be really helpful. You see there's about 50 zombies over there. That's not good. All right, so let's just fight this zombie right here. Oh, my God. You see what happened? Our pot broke. Okay. So that's not good. So our saucepan was... A terrific weapon for us until it wasn't so let's go back in and let's close this door oh my god other way okay you could check yourself out we didn't get hit so he almost got us but he missed well we dodged out of the way and we pushed him off all right so we need to look for another weapon of some kind um, i'm not seeing anything very good here to fight with Well, uh, we could get a gun if we're really feeling 
saucy, and we're not feeling saucy, not to that level. So, what do we do? Okay. I'm fine with this. What we're going to do is we're going to just open this door, all right? Hopefully the zombie isn't waiting for us immediately. He's not. Um, we sort of lost him. I don't know how or... Oh, there he is. He's waiting right there. Okay. So I'm going to run away from him, okay? And I'm going to run away from... I don't want to see that crowd, right? He's going to follow us, no problem. We're just going to kind of weave in and out here. Okay. And there's a bunch of zombies down here that we don't want anything to do with. So... This guy wants to keep following us, no problem. Just a small burst of speed around the corner. I'm going to try to jump this and get back to safer territory. Our sneaking skill went up. So whenever you're sneaking, you are leveling up that skill if things are trying to detect you. So that's nice. All right, so that horde of zombies did not see us. Um, this guy is still coming, but that's okay. It's just one guy. And these, uh, oh, well, these trees would have done the trick. However, there's um, some other zombies over here. So we need to run. We got light-footed. That's fun. And we're going to run this way and stop running. And they're coming, but... We're going to speed around this corner to lose most of them. Okay. All right. That school looks awesome. That fence right there should lose another ton. There's a guy in that house who wants to come fight. No problem. I'm just going to run across the street. Okay. And get through these trees. Okay. From here, I'm going to push M uh, to check the map to see where I'm at. I'm back into our neighborhood. So now I'm going to close the inventory by pushing I. And I'm just going to turn around and see how many zombies are still following us. And it really doesn't look like any are still following us, okay? So what that means is it's getting to be late. We're wet because we ran and we sweated a lot in our leather coat. This is a house that we have actually fortified. You see that the chair is up against the front door here. So this is a place that we can take advantage of from before. And this is kind of what you have to do. You have to go back and get some momentum. This character currently has absolutely no momentum, okay? So we're gonna close the door and just make sure that this house is uh, empty. All right, the TV being on is less than ideal. I think I did that. Yeah, I was trying to watch Life and Living. We'll turn that off. And there's a dead zombie under the chair, which is funny. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, close this panel and we can um, lock the door we're going to um, close the window we're going to close the curtains we're going to drink all right and we need to find something to use as a weapon frying pan fantastic we got a frying pan all right, so now we've stabilized with this character, but you saw how hard that was. It was very difficult for us to find a legit place. Um, to get to a position where we felt like, okay, this is, this is safe enough. And we can just go ahead and sleep. And we say we could, but we're not tired yet. Okay, so we might want to explore a little bit more and get some stuff. We also might want to just make note of the fact um, that now that we can, all right, that our body is right about here. And this is kind of our goal, but we are currently way over here. 
We're over here because the zombie concentration is insane in this area, and it's going to take something significant for us to get away. We could create a diversion. There's lots of things that we can do, but right now we don't have it. So I hope that this episode has been informative. We had a terrible death um, from misplaying, and we learned how to get back our body, run away from zombie hordes, and shake many, many zombies. So we learned how to navigate tricky areas, how to get back to safety, the advantage of, and the, the importance of really marking up your map so that you know where you've been and where there are less zombies, where it's safe to go. Um, the idea of what supplies are essential, uh, how to kind of make runs at your corpse, and when to just abandon ship because there's too many zombies altogether, right? So hopefully, you know, at some point, we've got a great cache of supplies over there, but it might not be worth it. It might be safer for us to continue just saying, all right, um, what about some of these houses? Can we explore here and find some good stuff, you know, and then work over toward these two-story homes? Um, there's lots of options, but this is the game, and this is why it's so fun. You're running for your life. Um, you know, it can all go bad in an instant, but then you just get born again, and you try to build on the momentum that you've made. Once we get a base established, it's going to be even easier to build on our momentum because we'll have a place that we can always go back to with lots of supplies that's safe. But we have to get to that point first. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care. <laughs>